Hey guys, this is Foxy Bloodhound. I'm bringing you another small business in a small town in Texas. Uh, so we have a biker bar slash restaurant slash coffee shop slash mom and pop shop slash hotel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we're gonna tell you a little bit more about it. And here to tell us about it is one of the owners. Hey all, my name is Monica. I'm the owner of Big Den Biker Hotel and Old Gringo Coffee and Cocktail from Alpine, Texas. Right on. So uh, what brought you to Alpine? Is this uh, hometown for you? No, actually I grew up in San Antonio. Uh, gotcha. In 1999, I moved out here to go to college. I was here until about 2008. Left town, went, built my career, uh, met Danny in Mississippi. I don't know where the hell he went. Danny walked there. away. <laughs> um, and we started looking at, you know, what we we're going to do next as far as building a business. So gotcha. um, I told him I didn't care what, you, what we wanted to do. He was a chicken farmer. Um, and I said, I'll farm with you forever, but when we retire, I want to retire in Alpine. And he says, well, what businesses do they need in Alpine? They said that we needed a hotel. And so we built Big Ben Biker Hotel. A so, biker hotel. Uh -huh. That's a fantastic idea. Yeah. And there, a lot of people don't know this, but there's a, there's a university in this town, too. Correct. So Ross which, State University. Exactly. So there's a lot of bikers that come through here just because of the beautiful countryside. And then there's also all the college kids from the university. Correct. Correct. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it, would you say it's a pretty unique group in this town? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So <laughs> we're probably one of the most diverse small towns in the state of Texas. Um, but because we're so remote, everybody just kind of has to learn how to get along. Make the trek. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> get out of here. Type, Probably half of our employees are traditional college students. The other half are actually on the rodeo team, as far as oh, you know, wow. college age kids we have. Um, we've got seven or eight locals. I've got 34 employees. Most of my employees are under the age of 25. They're here to go to school. Wow. So when did the business actually open its doors? We bought the building in May of 2019. We opened the wow. bar in July of 2019, the hotel in March of 2019. And I'm sorry. We opened the bar in July of 2019, the restaurant in October 2019, and the hotel in March of 2020. And you've won a That's lot Danny. of... Hi, Danny. <laughs> she giving you all the information you need. Oh, Hi. we're getting there. We're about a quarter of the way through. I don't know. You guys have a lot of accomplishments here. Do you want to tell us a little bit more about it? It's been great. It's been great. So uh, the first two years were named the best, I think the best bar on next door and then uh, we started getting picked up in Ride Texas magazine so last year we were the best mom and pop lodging in the state the best lodging in the Big Bend and we were the second best or third best bar biker bar in the state of Texas this year they've named us the best lodging in the Big Bend the best mom and pop lodging in the state the best bed and breakfast the best uh, burritos and the, the fourth coldest beer. The second, <laughs> the second best Mexican restaurant. The we tied for the best biker bar, and we got the fourth coldest beer in the state of Texas. <laughs> so that's going on our shirts next. <laughs> that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And is there a website where people can get all those shirts and merchandise and stuff like that? Absolutely, it's BigBenzBikerHotel.com. Oh, that's really mm -hmm. cool. And then that, that ties in with the hotel, and it'll have our menu. It'll have. Um, our live music lineup, we do more live music than anybody in the big band. We do live music five nights a week. Wow, that's, that's a lot. Yeah. Is it all local bands or do you guys feature anybody that you'd hear on the radio? Um, we've had a couple of really big Tejano bands come out of San Antonio. We had David Mares, we had David Farias last year. Um, most of our music is, you know, older country music, classic rock. Um, we're probably 60% local and 40% out of town. Wow. So almost all Texas music. Well, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a it's a great slice of Texas. So mm -hmm. if like anybody's traveling around the country, and then I have they have like a have to go to spot, I would definitely check this place out. Oh, absolutely! It's very very unique, and hey, fantastic Mexican food's never a bad thing. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, and we do I'm what we call. I'm a sucker for good Mexican food. I swear. Yeah, we do what we call Texas Cajun. So we do American, we do Mexican, and we do Cajun. Wow. So, yeah, What's so, Cajun? Cajun. So we do red beans and rice. We do gumbo. Uh, we'll do ah, New bowls. Orleans type we'll do, stuff. Uh -huh. Yeah, Danish, Mississippi. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, that's really cool. So do you guys have any plans going forward, like stuff you want to do or branch out into, or is this kind of the model that you're looking at now? We're working a project down in South Texas, um, but okay. right now this is our focus. Okay, gotcha. So in South Texas, they might uh, they might get a franchise store? Is that what I'm hearing? Uh, we're doing... Maybe. Uh, maybe. <laughs> uh, 
We haven't figured it out yet, but we'll so there's some stuff up in the air, but we're some wedding yeah. venue type stuff, some catering. Um, wow, I mean that'd be really cool. I'd yeah. love a biker wedding venue. That would be pretty awesome. Brilliant. <laughs> You got a just you just got a big loop that you go around, and one of the bikes is trailing a cart with the uh, the minister and the bride and groom, and then all the bikes are just following behind them on a big dirt track while they're getting married. I'm gonna write that down. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not well, hey, you heard it here office. first. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna pay any commission off it, but I'm gonna write it down. No, no, that's okay. But just let me do the story on it. Okay. <laughs> well, all right. Well, that's really cool. I love that story. Oh, you know, it's you. it's. Definitely awesome. You know, I, I talk to a lot of small business owners around the country, and you know, it's usually a similar story. You know, we were, you know, we, we worked the nine to five. We kind of ran that course, and we were pretty much ready to settle in. And we had this great idea for a business, and we just put our heart and soul into it. So I, that's a pretty common theme. I love it. Yeah. Very well, small. Well, you know, when, when we travel and we're on our bikes, we stay at these roadside motels, but the beds are bad, the pillows are bad. Yeah. It's kind of, you know, kind of a dingy hotel. So when we yeah. built this, we wanted to build something where we could have indoor uh, secured motorcycle parking. The I saw that when I walked in, mm -hmm. there is an entire area dedicated to parking your bikes. Mm -hmm. So they're not going to be vandalized or kicked over. Not that anyone would be brave enough to kick a biker's mm -hmm. bike. <laughs> but yeah, so like the, uh, the mattresses are 15 inch pillow top mattresses. All of the linens wow. are high end. All the, the sheets are 500 thread count, long staple American grown cotton. Um, wow. So, you know, so any nice higher end hotel that you would stay in, you would have the opportunity to stay here in a good quality room, have the bar downstairs, come in Friday night, park your bike, have dinner, get up on Saturday, go make your run, come back here, drink all night, listen to some music and dance, crawl up to your room, and then do it all over again. <laughs> Emphasis on crawl up. Yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Well, that's awesome. Well, do you want to take us on a tour and yeah, show us what on. it's all about? All right. So this is our bar. If you work here, wave. If you work here, wave. Everybody wave. Wave, wave. Connor. This is Connor, wave. <laughs> <laughs> so we have two bars. So that way when we're really busy, we can open up what we call bar two. And we're plug and play. So with traveling musicians, if they're just coming through town, they can literally bring in their guitars. Uh, we provide a full back line. We provide full bow sound. Um, I see it about 300 in here, but we've got enough sound for 800 guests. Wow, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. It's very open. Like there's lots of room to bump around mm -hmm. and talk to people. Oh, there are the shirts. Yeah, we do. We do a lot of shirts. <laughs> All right, so we're walking into the biker storage room. Yeah, so this is a motorcycle garage. We have 17 rooms, 23 beds, and we have 23 uh, parking spots for motorcycles. That's awesome. Nothing upstairs. So all they're gonna see is all brand new construction. Gotcha. I definitely like the style. Mm-hmm. This was a, a year and a half on build. Common area since 17. Wow, it is beautiful. And then, you know, we supply all the rooms with um, linens and towels and pillows and stuff, but we also provide them here. Somebody who just wants to come and grab them, they can grab them. Let me open up a couple of rooms. It's 2.30. I mean, even right down to the room numbers. Holy cow. Yeah. So this is one of our kings. I designed every stick of furniture in the building, so everything was custom built. All the rooms wow. are a little different. The views are phenomenal. Yeah, let's go take a look at the view. Mm -hmm. Wow, so you can see that little mountain back there, right from your room. Correct. And you can see just a little bit of, is that Main Street? Uh-huh, yeah. 
Wow. Well, imagine looking See? at the entire corner room, and that's got a 270 degree view. Wow. Yeah, well, let's take a look at that. <laughs> well, we do queens, doubles, kings, and then what we call our deluxe king over here. But if you can imagine that there was literally nothing up here, all there was was subfloor, and that all had to be pulled out. So you ripped out all the subfloor, you did all the hardwood flooring, mm -hmm. you went through and got the air conditioning installed everywhere, you got, yeah, every, yeah, yeah, I think that's brass, room AC. numbers. Wow. So this is 216. Um, it features a fireplace, it has the three windows. Um, so each window is going just in a different direction, so you can see everything from right. here. So that's Avenue E, and then what's the street that's intersecting with it? History. Fifth Street, Fifth mm -hmm. Street and Avenue E. And you've got your little small town clock tower right there. Look at that. Yeah. We are That's the highest incredible. rated hotel on Google. The highest rated mm -hmm. on Google. That's fantastic. So, you know, we've been really lucky that, you know, the Viking community is great. So they do a really good job. You even get your word. own restroom. Um, we get a lot of customers that are, you know, they're not even bikers, but they come out here to have a good time, listen to our music, dance, you know. Do all that kind of good stuff. Um, we do families as well. Um, and we've really never had any issues. You know, everybody has a good time. Yeah. You know, a lot of people misunderstand the biker community because it was different yeah. in the 80s, right? <laughs> Very different in the 80s. <laughs> well, right on. So is that the end of the tour? Is that all the different areas? Mm -hmm. That is it. We also have a sister property called Alpine Country Club Lofts. Wow. Um, it's a quiet, quieter property, and we've got a two-bedroom, one-bath, a three-bedroom, one-bath, and a one-bedroom, one-bath with a sauna. So if you've got like wow. 18 guests and you want something a little more tame, so you've got a spot that's quieter, yeah. more family-oriented, big events. So if you wanted to take your whole family and have a family reunion, you want to go to a small town with stuff to do and things to see, perfect spot. Now Al Alpine is that place. So Alpine's the hub of the Big Bend. So we're 30 minutes from Marfa. We're 30 minutes from Marathon, we're 20 minutes from Fort Davis. Um, we're about an hour to the uh, gate to the National Park, hour and 15 to Trilingua. Well, the National Park's the next place I'm going. Oh, good, fun. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, if that's everything, I think that's we can kind of wrap it up. Okay. Uh, anything else you wanted to shout out? Any websites or social media that people should follow to keep track of you guys? Totally. Uh, Old Gringo Coffee and Cocktail on Facebook. Uh, Big Ben Biker Hotel on Facebook, and of course the website again is BigBenBikerHotel.com. All right, well guys, make sure you support the local small uh, family-owned businesses. And uh, if you guys have anywhere you want me to go or anything you want me to see, be sure to leave it in the comment section below.